Hey everybody, welcome back to Carpe Diem. Let's continue seizing the day. Okay, so I think it was Jen's turn. Yeah, I've got five tiles, Jen's got four. So where is she going? Well, she's already started working on, oh, I don't, what are the names of the different colors? Let me look them up. That's driving me nuts. A green, is that the craftsperson? Yes, it's the craftsperson one. Right, all right. Yeah, so Jen's going to come over here. She's going to grab one of these and finish this craft building that she started. Boom. And that moves her up on the bandolier. So she is in the lead over there, which can be hugely important. And more importantly, the reward for having a craftsperson is you can grab any one of these tiles that were placed out randomly as part of setup. And that can be a real lifesaver. So first dibs, our first thing Jen knows, well, first of all, if there were any baker houses, which unfortunately they're not, this is a merchant. You can see, <gasps> wait a minute. Yeah, you can see it's a slightly, ever so slightly different color. Oh man, I'll talk about this in the final thoughts. The production on this game, eh. All right, so that's a merchant's house, not a baker's house. So she can't finish her baker's house. She could get another fountain and have another secret goal she's trying to chase after. But you know what? She really needs to be thinking about which of these will she be able to finish at the end of the year. And she's already made a wheat field. If she can make a pond, she can do that and score seven points instead of losing four points. So I think she's going to grab this Ponderosa over here. And she will put it right here, extending off of that. Because, hey, then when she finishes this pond, she'll have another five points at the end of the game. Booyah. Okay. Okay. So that was that. And uh, that was Jen's turn. It's my turn now. And where am I going to go? I think I'm going to slide on over here and I'm going to keep focusing on making the most awesome villa ever. Boom. I've closed it off. It's another band to roll, which I'm very happy about because now I've taken the lead again, which is going to be huge at the end of the year. Okay. So that was uh, my turn. Jen's turn. So she uh, basically has a choice of coming over here or going bounce, 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 bounce over here. Those are her two choices. Uh, she cannot, or actually that's not true. She has choice to everything because if she comes over here, since it's empty, she could go bounce, bounce, bounce around to go over here, or she could just bounce right back to where she came. So Jen now at the, it's interesting, uh, you know, you, as it goes on, you sometimes have more access, sometimes you have less access. Right now, Jen could get any of these tiles. She would like to finish that water feature just started, and here's her last chance to do it. So I think she'll just come over here and then bounce right on back. And she's made a pond. All righty, and that was another bandolier, Jen's third. She has pulled into the lead again, which is scary for me because if we go for the same thing, Jen gets first dibs on it, and then I'm stuck taking something I don't want. And in the meantime, these are gone. Bye-bye. The year's almost over. Oh, it's getting scary. Uh, my turn. All right, I, there are finally no more villas for me to grab, and unfortunately, Jen just grabbed the pond I was going to grab to finish my little pond over there. Oh, my golden pond will have to wait. But hey, you know what? I could finish my little vineyard there, although... Um, yeah, and which means I'll score points. And here's an interesting thing. If I want to, no, what I was going to say is I could slide over here, grab this, finish it and give myself a grape. Not bad. But if I grabbed this one, I could build around the corner and then try to make a size three feet, uh, grape green, uh, vineyards, which would give me two grapes, which would be a pretty big deal. But the problem is if as soon as I slide down here and take this, it'll only be two left and this will go away and then I'll have new grapes. Now, what am I planning on scoring? All right, the main thing I've done is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, which means I could score this one or this one. I could score this twice, make two. Oh, I could make two coins and two up on the bandolier. Or with six, I could score this three times and go three on the bandolier. But remember, when I'm scoring this, I also have to score one of these. From scoring this, I have to score this. There is no way I've got all that stuff. But here's the thing. If I score this and I get two coins, coins are wild cards. and can stand in for anything else. So if I could get those two coins and two other goods... And remember, I'll have one good because of my grape. Then I'd have enough to score this thing. I'd have a grape. I'd have two coins. And I'd just need one more. But is there enough time? There's not very many pieces left. Well, okay. For starters, I am just going to come over here. And... Oh. I mean, instead, I could come over here and bounce back. And I could grab this little bank. And that would give me a coin. And then if I'm going to get two coins off of this, I'd have three coins. Then I'd do just one more thing to be able to score both of these successfully. But 
You know what? I mean, Jen has the opportunity to come here as well. If she takes anything from here, then I lose my chance to finish my grapes. I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to take, I'm going to take the safe path. And I'm just going to finish the grapes. Alrighty, so boom. I'm going to trigger this at the end of the game. There's five points there. And in the meantime, I get one grape for my size two. I've got one good, which means I could score this, um, which means I could score both of these if that's what I decide to go for. Okay. And bippity bop. The noose gets tighter. Uh, in fact, it's, it is time, folks. There's no place else for Jen to go. So here she comes. She's going to take one of those, and then the rest are gone. Does she want to start a merchant house, start a chicken coop? She won't finish either of them, so they won't help her. Or, or does she go on ahead and give herself a bank? Which, everybody has one of these, I should have mentioned, by the way. And it's a really nice at-a-glance reminder of what all the different types of buildings do. If she builds this little bank, she makes one gold, which could save her bacon. Um, nope, because right now all she's got is one grain. So, I mean, it, it, one grain and one gold won't let her do that. A gold and a grain won't let her do that. A gold would let her score this, though, because it could stand in for a grape. So, yeah, I think she'll build a bank. And where is she going to put it? She will go on ahead and put it right here because that got her fourth band roll. That's four points at the end of the game, but more to the point, Jen is trying to maintain control. All right, and these are gone. The first year is done, folks, and it is now time to, uh, to score. And remember, Jen's in the lead, so first of all, and now you must do this. You cannot opt out. If you're in a situation where you built a bunch of stuff that you, you can't score any of these, you still have to put one of these down and score something. Let's see. And so I think Jen, because she has done a pond and a field, she's going to do that. But she's not going to be able to score the other thing. Because if she comes over here, well, she didn't do any villas. If she comes over here, she... Wait a minute. Oh, she should have one fish. Hey. she. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. She finished her pond. And she just built that. She got a... Yes, baby. Here's where she's going. She's going right there. Uh, you know, it really helps if I actually remember to pick stuff up. As always, folks, please watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. So if I make goofs like that, Paula will let you know. But anyway, Jen chose this, uh, which and she has completed both of these. Green means you just have to have it. Red means you've got to spend it. She can show that she has a pond and a wheat field. And she has a fish and a coin, which will stand in because she just built that bank. She'll spend both of these. And Jen has done both of them and scored herself a sweet 11 points. Boom. She didn't lose anything. Pulled it off in the end. And now, like I said, again, if she had four fish, she could score eight points. But say la vie, she's pretty happy just not to have lost any points. Okay. And so now I'm going to come along and I breathe a sigh of relief. I had no interest in scoring either of those things. I've got to decide, am I going to come over here and move forward three times on the bandolier and get one point? Am I going to come over here, get two coins, move up twice on the bandolier, and lose four points because I have not completed that? But you know what? I can afford to lose four points and still win the game. It's not the end of the world. And getting those coins now, you know, oh, that's a tough choice, isn't it? I mean, let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. All righty. So. Uh, again, I, I just double check. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So I've got six, which means I score this twice. I get two coins, um, which would almost let me do it. I've got two coins and I've got a grape. If I just had one more coin up here, I could score this too. But I, oh, and don't forget, I move up twice. Boom, boom. So I'm back in it. And now I come over here. I cannot win that. So I have lost four points. That's why you start with eight, because you could potentially lose both yours right off the bat. So anyway, so that hurts. I lost four points, but I got those coins that are going to be a lifesaver in the future. I'm back up on the track, and um, we are done. And now here's the interesting thing. These tokens don't go away. This combination and this combination can never be scored again. So as you can imagine, at the end of the second, third, and fourth year, it just gets tighter and scarier and tougher because you really need to focus on what you're be able to score, but you got to be able to get to it first before an opponent does. Although on the flip side, as the game goes on, you have more and more stuff. So while there are fewer options, there are you generally are able to fulfill more of them. It's really 
brilliantly beautiful how this thing worked out. But anyway, so that was the end of the first year. Here's where we stand. Jen will become the first player going into the next year, and we have to reseed the board. So let's just go on ahead and grab some tiles, and you just do this randomly, which is kind of painful one-handed. Uh, all right. Also painful to do it by myself. But I will try to muscle through as quickly as possible. Just, all right, so let's see. I think I, I got enough here. Bip, 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 bippity, 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 bip. And it's going to be a whole new set of opportunities. Chances to finish what we started, continue to build stronger on whatever we're secretly trying to chase after, if we've done fountains, and as always, the ever-present threat to try to build up for our next scoring opportunity. Oops, that's a mess. And Jen is first. What does she want? Well, now that we're full, Jen can come over here and grab one of these or over here. Would she like to get another fountain? Um, no, but I think what she would like to do is come over here. Oh, oh, choices, choices. She can come over here, finish her baker's house and start a villa, or finish her baker's house and start grape Great production. Let's see. So, so Jen, this is why I came here. Because if Jen started on Villas, she might score this later on. There's only one, there was only one ever chance that I had to guarantee score. Jen might take it later on. There's two opportunities to score these chimneys. So that's why I was willing to take the hit. So Jen's got to decide. Is she going to start chasing? Because there's two opportunities to score over here. Jen, in fact, she wants to get some villas because she could score this again because she still got this. And if she gets two chimneys, she'd be able to go right there and it'd be perfect for her. Unless, of course, I take it. Um, so, yeah, I think Jen's going to come over here. And she's going to finish her baker's house and start a villa. And remember, when you finish a bakery, you get two bread. And so that is nice. If Jen gets one more bread, she can score anything. Or she can spend one of those breads to jump anywhere she wants and take whatever she wants. So that was a very nice. And so now what am I going to get? Hey, I could grab my own fountain. I could start chickens. Oh, I could keep on working on my crazy villa. My crazy endless villa. But you know what? My villa is looking pretty good. Although, actually, wait a minute. So, six. If I, if I finish this thing with just one more, I'll probably end up with seven chimneys. That's 12 points. I could keep going. If I get 11 chimneys and finish that villa off, that is 26 points. And so, if I come over here and grab this, my villa could keep spreading like a virus throughout this country. I'd have the biggest, or, or it doesn't have to be one big one. You could have a whole bunch of tiny individual villas. It's really just how many um, chimneys do you have at the end of the game. Alrighty. Oh my goodness gracious. So many options. Yeah. Uh, or I could just give myself a single bread. All right. Let's think about where I want to build. Okay. So I've already finished this one. I've scored this grape thing. I've scored this villa. Okay. I do want to build a baker's house somewhere along here. I would like to build a vineyard somewhere along this line. And oh, hey, look, I want to build a vineyard somewhere along here. So if I could make a multi-sized vineyard starting to come out of here, It'd be one, two, three, four. If I could make a, I'd get three grapes. That would be awesome. And I'd score both of these vineyards. Could I do that? Ah, uh, there's no extenders. There's just end cap, end cap, end cap, end cap. So there's no way I could actually build a long grapevine like that. Hmm. Do I care about chickens? I say, well, I need to be thinking about what am I going to score starting in the next year. All right, so I can't score that again. I'm probably going to focus on this because I've got so many chimneys. Do I want to start doing Again, this is pushing me towards vineyards. Either that or I could go for this. But I know Jen has that. And I know I could just see... Uh, Jen just started working on a chimney. So I know she's probably going to go for this. So either I try to beat her to it or I target this, which means I just want a lot of grapes. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's, 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 uh, let's, let's, let's vineyard it up. So... Um, but I've got an interesting choice. I could do this vineyard, which will let me start making a ch some chickens. This one, which will let me work on villas some more. Or this one, which will let me work on a baker's house. Oh, goodness. You know, you know, folks, I loves me making um, some more villa. Although if I do this villa, extend here, uh, this has already been scored. It, I don't get to score this multiple times if I have multiple vineyards along this line. So I want the vineyard to be up here or over here for those two. So it doesn't make as much sense to grab that. Um, 
I would like a baker's house. I would like a chicken. Although, let's see. Do I score anything? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. Chicken's right there. Yes, 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 yes. Slide. On. Oops. Oh, wait. But no, I can't. I was thinking I was Jen. I'm over here. I don't have access to this. I can have access to that or that. Ah, oh, shucky ducky. Shoot. Well, I know I could come back over here and get this. So, what am I going to do? Let's go on ahead and slide over here. No, but okay. The quicker I fill this out, the quicker all my, vi my villa opportunities go away. So let's slide over here and grab uh, this one. And let's just go on ahead and put it right here like this so that it'll eventually cross this line and score me five more points. All right. Easy peasy. Done. Sheesh. <laughs> Jen's turn. Okay. Um, what to do? What to do? What to do? Uh, right, oh, right. Jen wants to finish that villa or, or extend that villa. So she can come over here, finish it, and work on some grapevines. But you know what? Actually, no. Jen doesn't want to finish her villa here because she wants to cross this line. So she needs to extend it. So is there an extending? Well, that means Jen's got to get over here, which is not available to her. Um, so if she wanted to get over here, she'd have to go bounce, 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 or bounce, bounce. So I think because Jen wants to get over here to this, she's going to come over here and take something off of this so that she can extend her villa later. So, does she want another fountain? Does she want to start making a, uh, a silver building, which moves her forward twice? I think it's the administration building on the bandolier track. Or does she want to start working on grapes and chickens? She hasn't worked on either of those. And at no point anywhere does she... Oh my gosh, look at that. I just noticed this. Jen gets four points if she makes a carpenter's building along this line. She won't get it because oh, if it had been built like this... She'd have four more points, but that wasn't possible. Oh, I didn't even notice that. There is so much going on in this game. But you know what? I mean, Jen could still score this four points by building a green building down here or down here. So that's something to bear in mind as well. All right, where did Jen just go? Uh, you know what? I think Jen wants another fountain. I think she likes fountains. Where is she going to put this fountain? She will put this fountain over here. So she has a nice little collection of fountains because then she can span over here and do the bandolier track. So once again, she's going to draw two and keep something secret. Ooh, banks. Jen already has one bank, so this is a two-pointer plus more banks. And hey, here's a bank over here, and here's a bank over here. Okay. Or, ooh, greenhouses. Carpenter's houses. She's already built one of those. And those carpenter houses are so nice to let you choose any of these. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, these do not refill over the course of the game. These refill at the end of every year, but this is all you got right from the get-go. Is, is this going to push Jen towards more banks or towards more carpentry? Ironically, she needs the carpentry to get that bank. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Oh, that's why I love this game. So many just insanely tough choices. Uh, does, is there another? Right, so here, right, Jen could get another carpentry building built this turn. I think she likes that. All right, so she's still trying to build more bakery houses and more carpentry buildings. She uh, doesn't care about banks. All the banks are always nice too, and they're quick and easy to build. She might regret that later. But anyway, so that's Jen. Okay, and... Boom, boom, disappear, buh, buh, bye. My turn. Now, I totally forgot what I was trying to do. Oh, I think I wanted to come over here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what I wanted to do? Well, either I come over here or I bounce back and come up there. Right, I wanted to finish this. Now, here's the problem. Neither of these can come into this spot because, like, you know, this is a great bakery. That would not be legal. I ha it has to be a grassy edge there. And if I come back over here, if I bounce, bounce, or bounce, bounce right back to where I am, uh, let's see. But I, 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 I'm, oh. oh, but I need to finish, I need to finish my, I need to finish my, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a big old lake. I'm going to get me a lot of fishy fish, which is to say two or more fish. And I've just pushed up on the bandolier track. Yeehaw. Okay. So there we go. Jen's turn. She comes here or there. Um, right. And she was wanting to, yeah, she comes over here and I, no, I, she ended up taking the tile I was ultimately going to get. She will come here like this. So she's starting to make a big villa because she wants to cross this villa line up there. All right. So that's that. So, well, there are still plenty of other villa opportunities awaiting, but here's what I wanted. I wanted to come over here. Do I want to do that? Because this will let me finish my lake. Because then I've got the lake. Oh, I haven't actually started on my fields. I'll have the lake, but I haven't actually done any wheat fields. Oh my gosh. Or right, see, there's one, and that's it. Two, 
I would have to build a green building and this and the green building, the carpenter building, to get down there. So I could start working on a carpenter building to get down there, and hopefully this won't disappear. Oh, wait, oh no! There's this one and this one. So there are options. I could still pull this off, and I totally forgot. That's what I was trying to pull off. Oh, that's not right. That's not what I was trying to pull off. I was thinking Jen was going to do this, so I was going to go for grapes. Grapes! But then I got, I got, I got lulled in by the siren song of the fishy fish. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to finish the fish. I'm going to finish what I started. I'm off track now. Um, hey, you know, double fish and a chicken. I could go on ahead and score this one. So let's go on ahead and finish this. All right, and that's two fish for me. Two fish. Now, here's the interesting thing. I have two goods and two coins. I could score this big stinking eight pointer. If I get a little bit more, I could score it twice and get 16 points. And, you know, and, and, and still get a point off of that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That, this has changed things up quite a bit. Although now I've got half of a, um, of a merchant's house. So this is interesting, too. If I finish this merchant's house, what they do is they do every good I've got turns into a coin, plus I get one more coin. So everything becomes a wild card, and I can do anything. So once you've built up a whole bunch of resources, it's great to build one of these uh, merchant houses to turn all that stuff into tons of money. Money, money, money. But anyway, so that was my turn. Jen's turn. Right, where is she going to go? She could bounce over there. She could bounce right back to where she is. She'd like to finish this villa. So I think she'll just go bounce, bounce. No, no. Because she was going to put this villa up here, but she can't because... Right, can she get to a villa? Sink, sink. Or she, no, she can't get to a villa to finish her villa and score that three points there. So just have to worry about that a little bit later. Oh, man, so much to think about. All right, oh, right. But remember, Jen wants to build more construction buildings, so she's going to come over here and start building this. And remember, right. Oh, right, so, and she will build it here. Because then when she finishes it over there, that'll be four more points for having built a second. Right, so there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty happy about that. And now back to me. So I can come there or there. I can get any of this business. Hey, so I could keep on making my villa even bigger. Oh, my villa could just go insane. Or I could finish my villa and start working on a wheat field so that I still have a shot at scoring this. Even if I don't score this, I mean, if I've got that wheat field in that font, I could score it against this, this, or this. There'll be three more opportunities to score that card. <sighs> But this would be closing off my villa if I take that. What happened to my dreams of grape fields? I need to get over here and grab this one. That's the only one that'll actually work. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it's in the spot that's a million miles away from me. Unless, of course, I want to spend bread. But no, I just want to get a lot more resources. I want to build, I want, I want to finish my merchant house so I can get a lot of coins so I can maybe score the big dog. I just, at least I want to have that flexibility. Gosh darn it, so many choices. But I just want to keep on building my villa up for more chimneys for big in-game scoring too. Ooh. Oh, I'm just going to do it. Oh, too many choices. All right. My villa just keeps on growing. All righty. I, I, I do not know that that was the wisest choice, but I'll live with it. I'll live with it. All right, Jen's turn. Um, Right. So she could come over here or up there or she could spend some of her bread and go wherever she wants all right oh sorry she, right. she's trying to finish her carpentry building um and right which is over here she could spend the bread and just jump right over but instead she'll come over here because then next turn she can jump over here and hopefully this will still be available all right so she's coming over here she's taking one of those she almost doesn't even care what it is she's just using this as a hopping point for that does she want to start making some chickens oh yeah she'll make a bakery so this is just, uh, you know, she's previously made a baker's house. Now she's going to make a bakery. This will give her one bread. And that's her third bread. She can hop wherever she wants, or she can guaranteed score any of these tiles, but just once. All right, so where is she going to put this? Somewhere out of the way that doesn't prevent her from scoring stuff later on. Something that lets her get, or how about just right here? How about just right there? With another, um, boom, back on top. So she gets first dibs. All right, there we go. And she's got all her bread now. Nice. And... Buh bye it's starting to tighten up again, folks. And now, I was so busy thinking about Jen, I totally forgot what I was doing. What was I doing? What was I doing? I'm over here. I can come over here. All right. Oh, I was trying to um, do the merchant. Right, but I don't want to do... I mean, I could come over here. I could get the merchants. I could convert these. But I want to make my grapes first so I have more stuff to convert. Which means I got to get over here. 
That's my only grape I can build. So that means I got to come over here and I'm just going to build a bank as a temporary thing. And I'll just build a bank right here, which gets me back in the lead and gets me a coin. So I've got more flexibility for the big score. And now, <gasps> gasp, now I can't convert all my stuff into money. No, no, but say la vie. Oh gosh, darn it. Okay. So Jen's turn. She can come here, which would let her bounce over there, or she can go there. So she's got those two options. And, um, all right, I've, I, I, I cannot keep track of what's going on. There is so much going on in this game, folks. What does she want? She, she'll just come over here just because it's easy. Because, all right, so finally, she's finished this wing of her house, which means she scored that three points, provided this is finished at the end of the game. All right, and now she's got four chimneys, which means she could score this twice. So that's looking good for her. And buh, bye. Aye, aye, aye. But whew, I made it. I made it. Sweet, sweet. Oh, unfortunately, one grape. All right, and um, that's that. Okay, and bippity bop. Jen's turn. Oh, it's starting to tighten up again, folks. So. Jen could bounce around, took a boop, 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 boop to get up there, or she could go there, and whatever she takes. All right, so we're almost done again. We each get two more tiles. What does Jen want? You know what? I'm inclined to think maybe, does Jen want to finish off her villa just to not have to worry about it anymore? It would be five, which isn't really great for that double, but she can't, she can't get two. She's got nothing else to finish before time is up. Does she want to start working on something? Well, let's see. She needs a wheat field down here. She'd have to start on that. She a villa here, here, or here. She's already done that. She's already... Oh, or water. More water there. Or a merchant house there. Or, you know what? You know what? I think Jen likes fountains. Bounce, 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 bounce. Jen has got this whole little sweet sweep of fountains right there. She's going to draw two more. All right, banks again, and chicken coops. Ah, oh, she hasn't done any chicken coops. She's only done one bank. Now she desperately wishes she would have taken that other one because then every bank would be worth four points to her. Ah, she has no reason to build chicken coops. I think she's dumping this, so two points per bank. That's already a two-point card, and now she has every reason in the world to grab banks as they still come up. By the way, this is where you're supposed to store your stuff. Everybody gets one of these player aids and you store your stuff right there, but I'm just using it to store all the fountain cards. All right. And hey, there's another bank. Jen's going to want to get that. She's going to want to do the green carpentry building to get the bank, etc., etc. Okay. So that was that. And buh bye folks. It's the end of the second year. Here I go. What am I going to take? Do I want to get a fountain? Oh, I can't finish my car. Oh, anyway, right. Oh, oh, hey, hey. No, no, no. This is a, ah, again, this is so frustrating. This is a bakery. This is a merchant. Only if you put them right next to each other can you tell the difference. You get them far apart, it's kind of hard to tell. All right, shoot. Um, so I cannot finish my merchants. How did that happen? What happened? I, I, no. None of those are particularly good for me. Wow. Okay. Well. Well. Um, I could. Okay, I'll just go on ahead and, st or, or do I want to get fountains? Fountains are nice. It'd be nice to have a secret goal. What the heck? I'm going to build my own fountain. And I'll put it right... I can't put it right there, but I can put it right here. Boom. And just like that, now I'm way off in the lead. And I draw two. What am I going to go for? Two points per completed villa. If I end with one gigantic villa, that's no good. I'd want to have lots of little ones. What's the other choice? Ooh, baker's houses. I haven't started any baker's houses either. Arr! I'm not excited about either of those things. There's no baker's houses here. There's going to be two more years. How many baker's houses am I going to build? Villas are always easier to build. And the more villas I get... Okay, I'm just going to... All right, this is going to make me double down on villas even more. Even if I finish my big monster one, I'm going to want to make some more tiny... I'm going to start making tiny villas now so that I can get lots of points off of my secret fountain goal. All righty. So that was it. Bye bye Year two of four is over. And I score first. All righty. So... I do have, okay, I completely lost track. I thought I was going to make a farm. I totally, I did not do that. I do have, I could still come over here though, because what do I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's six. I can move up three here, 
and I have two grapes and three coins, I could score five points. Or I could just score one and save all my coins for that one. Uh, I didn't make a chicken house either. I totally forgot to do everything I was going to do. So what the heck, I'll just go on ahead and go for this one. Alrighty, so that's three forward, one, two, three. And hey, I'm up to 10 points at the end of the game. And how many, let's see, I'll give up both of the grapes. No, I'll, I'll give up one grape, definitely. But I think I'd rather save to score off of this one. So even though I've got more grapes and coins, I could dump into this. Um, they're worth two if I dump them over here, as opposed to only one. So I'm just going to do that and just get one point. Saving up for the big uh, deal later. And then Jen says, I totally forgot what Jen was going to do. Oh, right, yeah. Jen says, phew, yes. She will score seven points again. And she has four chimneys. So that lets her move forward two. And she gets seven points off of that. Nice. Skip a dip a. All righty. And that was the end of the second year. And our choices are whittling down. We're going to have to put a bunch more tiles out. And we're going to continue with the third year. And I'm going to be the first player. And I think I'm going to stop right there, folks, because that should give you a pretty good idea of the ebb and flow of Carpe Diem. And now if you want some final thoughts, hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow those show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.